Well, hello. Today I'm going to show how you can use the new RME 12 mic or AVB tool with a DigiFace Dante and have a very powerful Dante and AVB network working together. And my setup is exactly what you see here. I have a 12 mic mic pre connected MADI into the MADI input of my DigiFace Dante. I need to do a complete MADI loop so that I can set the reference clock of my mic pre to the Dante network. In order to do that, I have to set the 12 mic to MADI because that's what it's getting for clock. And the DigiFace Dante is clocked to the Dante network. Now, I also have in this setup, so everybody knows, I have an A32 connected to one of my Dante ports. So I have two devices. I have the A32 Dante and I have the 12 mic connected. So we have quite a powerful setup here. So what I'd like to do now is switch over to the web GUI. There's two ways to connect to the web GUI. You can connect to it via USB, which is what you need to do when you're using it on a Dante network. And if I'm using it directly connected AVB to an AVB network, I can go in and get the IP address directly from the microphone preamps uh, display and put it in the browser. When you're using the unit via USB uh, in terms of control, you have to put in the local name, which you can get off the display as well, and just put in the name of the unit, dot local. Or you can go to your manual and get the IP address that you need to put in, which would be 172.20.0.1. So several different ways to connect to it. I'm connecting it via USB to an available USB port and controlling it because my computer's in close proximity. Now what you're looking at here is the web GUI where you can do things like firmware updates and the name of the unit. This is where you can actually name your unit I have the ability to put it in a trade show display mode so all of the lights on the unit will just blink and flash and look cool. Uh, my power settings, uh, all my presets, any visual, uh, how I want to look at the, um, the visuals, my routing screen, what my clock is. So right now um, the clock is 48K. Uh, this is telling me that my master clock is coming from the MADI port as I just explained. I don't have anything connected to the word clock IO and I have nothing connected to anything here because they're all grayed out. If I had something connected, it would be green like you see here. All of my inputs are on the top. All of my outputs are on the bottom. So my inputs are my microphone inputs, my MADI coax, which I have 64 inputs there, MADI optical, another 64 inputs, the first four streams of my AVB ports are my primary AVB, and the second four streams, five through eight, are my backup or secondary stream. Now the output section is exactly the same. There's only two differences. My headphone out, because I can route audio to it, and I have three ADAT ports on the outputs. So doing routing is pretty simple. You simply click on the routing screen. It, it lights up blue. And a simple connection might be my microphone one, which is what I'm using right now, into the first four, I'm sorry, the first input or first output of the MADI, which is feeding my DigiFace Dante. So there it is right there. So this is a basically how you get around. What I like about the GUI is if I were to have everything closed, I can see that I have connections established by just seeing it, it, there's like a gray line and I can click it and it'll show me what it is. So that's one to one. So how do I do routing? Well, let's say I wanted to do a headphone route. So um, I'm going to show you how to do the headphone routing simply by, uh, I want to do the first two mic inputs. So I'm going to change my grid to two channels. So no matter where I click, it's going to select two channels. And I want to have the first two mic inputs go into the, my headphone out. Hold on. We did something, I clicked a little too much. So we click right here, and now I have my um, mic input one and mic input two going to the headphones. Now let's say I want this, this microphone to go to the ADAT out. I can click on this microphone here, go to the first ADAT port, makes the connection, and there it is. Now if I wanted to go to subsequent outputs, I can do that. There it is. So once it makes a connection, I'll start to see that. 
and we're going to do input one going to channel three. So now this microphone is going out eight at one, two, and three. And of course, if I wanted to also bring that to an, a stream on my AVB network, that's how I would do it. So routing's pretty easy. Uh, it's just clicking, getting used to the GUI. Now, since this device is connected to a DigiFace Dante, because we're showing how this can all work in this one environment where we have mic inputs connected to my Dante audio interface and also get Dante audio, it's very powerful. So it's easy to get lost quickly. So let's look at the DigiFace Dante. I have my microphone here and I'm feeding that to all of you, which is how you're hearing me. And I have some music playing on the first two channels of the software playback mixer in the DigiFace. And let's say I want to send that audio to eight or 12 of my MADI outputs. So I have a preset mix. Of course, I can click on an output and bring up a fader, bring up an output, bring up a fader, etc. So I, I have a preset uh, scene. So I'll just click on that and you're going to hear the music. <laughs> So I've routed all of that uh, music to every one of these MADI outputs here. So when I go back to my GUI on my mic pre and I look at my MADI input, there's the audio coming in. Now let's say I want to send all of that to one of the AB, AVB streams. Uh, since I'm using 12 channels of audio, I'm going to set my grid to 12. And I'm going to click on the first one, so all 12 highlight, and I'll bring that over here to my AVB. And now I've routed that audio to the first uh, stream of my AVB network. So now in this particular setup, we have microphone audio coming into our mic pre. We're recording it into our DAW. We can also send it out. Um, so again, when we open up a DAW, I'll bring in a, we'll do a new project. We will select our DAW or recording software to be the DigiFace Dante. Um, it's going to go to this 48K sample rate that we're using. There it is. And I want to record. So right now the master output of this software is gonna to go to Dante one and two, which is the playback channel one and two. I'm gonna send it to three and four. And we're gonna knock that out of the way. We're gonna insert a new track. And I wanna record the Maddie input, which is my microphone. So there's my microphone. So now this is how I can set up my mic pre my DigiFace Dante, have an AVB Dante network, and everything working together. Uh, this is an extremely powerful system. Hopefully this gives you some insight as to what's possible. And of course, when we're not in the routing mode, we can use the microphone preamp input section to control the, the preamp here. So if my microphone preamp is somewhere else in my facility, I have complete control over doing all the basic functions, head amp, gain control, uh, phantom power, all that it can be done. I can also um, link channels together. And that way, they're all working in tandem. So there's my relative gains, and then here's my overall gain. So that's the advantage of linking uh, signals together. And we can get rid of it by just clicking that. Okay, what I wanna show you here is how you can get around on the front panel. This is a kind of a quick start on the front panel. So as you can see, we have a microphone connected to channel one and the LED is blinking. You'll also notice there's a button above each one of the mic inputs and you're gonna use that. So your quick start essentially is by pushing on any one of the mic inputs, you can go to that channel, select the gain, put on the phantom power, change the phase. You can gang or group mic inputs together and then you have one control of gain. You can control it all together. You also can 
manually assign a mic input directly to the headphone jack. You can do it there as well. And then if you just toggle, that's what that does. So I'm gonna go ahead and push mic input one. So you can see this is what it looks like when you have a signal. Now the first four channels of the 12 mic are combo neutric connections. So this is the four channels that allow you to select between whether you're using XLR or TRS. And because of that, we also have a high Z selection if we wanna use a, a guitar input, for example. And the, the phase and group uh, GUI is gained together. So if you hit the button twice very quickly, that's how you get to the phase and that's how you turn it off. Um, and if you hold the button down, it'll tell you what to do. So if you're not sure. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna toggle back to the main screen and show you what the knob can do besides turning up the gain. You can push the knob in from this screen and it'll take you to the global parameters. And I'm gonna recommend you do this in the beginning because most of you will probably want to use the web remote. It's a little easier to do routing than doing it from the front panel. And I'm not gonna go into that level of depth on the front panel. Everything you can do with this unit can be done from this little screen, but most of us are gonna feel more comfortable using the web GUI. So when you you have your clock input state, you go to state by just pushing down on the button and then you can toggle between some of the global parameters. Remote control is right there. You simply push down. Make sure that the HTTP remote is on and the MIDI remote if you're using MIDI to control this. And you simply can uh, select it, turn it on, turn it off. And this is when you want to use your web GUI to control it. So most of us are gonna to wanna to have that on. If this is connected via AVB to an AVB network specifically, then the IP address of this unit will be assigned from that uh, switch, and this is where you'll get the IP address. If you're going to connect to this unit directly with a USB cable, then you're gonna to wanna to use the manual, which will tell you what the IP address is, and I actually go over that in that portion of a video. And you always have a little return button right here to get back. So look for that little arrow so you know how to get around. So hopefully this has been helpful. To power off the unit, you simply hold down this button for two seconds and the unit will begin to power off. And when it's off and still plugged in for the wall, you can hold this button down for two seconds to turn it back on. So I'm gonna illustrate that right here with the AVB tool. So by holding this button down for a couple seconds, it powers off. And to turn it back on, you just hold it down for two seconds. All right, it's off. And now it's coming back on again. So um, that's so you can leave it plugged in, but you can turn it off from the front panel. So hopefully this has been helpful and we're gonna give you more tools and insights to this product, but this should give you a nice overview of what's possible.